By July, the pipeline from the Hickory Aquifer will have been completed and ready to deliver water from the City of San Angelo's first groundwater source. Substantial completion of the 62-mile-long, 30-inch transmission main will represent the culmination of a $39 million effort to tap into the Hickory Aquifer. The pipeline will be the first major phase of the Hickory Water Supply Project to be completed. As of the second week of April, the project was 93% complete. At that time, the pipeline was nearing the city limits, still needing to cross the Concho River before ending near the water treatment plant. Water Utilities Director Ricky Dixon said, aside from the need to pass through rocky formations in spots along the route, construction of the pipeline has gone smoothly. Once the pipeline is finished, it will be capable of pumping about 6 million gallons per day to San Angelo from the nine existing wells. Along with the pipeline, construction of a booster pump station is also on schedule to be substantially completed this summer. The station is needed to pump water from the McCullough County well field to the pipeline's topographic high point, which is near Eden. From there, the water will use gravity to flow into San Angelo. Traveling from the aquifer to San Angelo will take the water two days. The booster pump station is a $12.8 million project that includes the station itself, pumping equipment in the existing wells, two half million gallon storage tanks, and a telemetry system to control the movement of water. As of the second week of April, the pump station project was 65% complete. Substantial completion is expected in June. Progress is also being made on a water treatment plant that will remove most of the radium in the Hickory's water. Final design plans and construction specifications will be sent to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality by early May. The process of letting the bids and awarding a construction contract should begin in July. Substantial completion of the new water treatment plant is scheduled for July of 2014. Recently, the city successfully pushed for the clearing of a right-of-way to drill five to seven more wells at the Hickory well field. Texas Parks and Wildlife officials gave the city a March 15th deadline to complete the clearing and avoid disturbing the nesting habitat of the black cat vireo, an endangered bird species. Missing the deadline would have forced a six-month delay in beginning the work. Design plans and construction specifications for the new wells will be sent to the State Environmental Quality Commission for its approval in late April or early May. City officials expect to bid the project in July. Drilling is expected to take about 15 months. The total cost of the Hickory Aquifer project is about $120 million. The Texas Water Development Board is financing that cost with a low interest loan. The loan will be repaid with water department revenue. Reporting for the City of San Angelo, this is Public Information Officer Anthony Wilson.